Hey everyone, in this quick tip, we're going to look at how to find more information about shapes, such as the area of the shape, the perimeter of the shape, circumference, and line segment types. So to do that, you can see all the objects we have here are an array of different shapes. And we're going to go to our measure tool in edit objects. It's the last one in the first row. So measure. And you can see the first option here is measuring between two points. But the next option we have is the span or contour properties. So if you click on that, now you simply just click on a line segment. Let's say this one here. And you'll see it will show you the line type, which in this case is a straight line. And then next it will tell you the length of that line you selected. And you can see it's highlighted in red to let you know that's the one that's selected. So in this case, it is 2.9 inches. And then it will tell you the X and Y start position of that line and the end position of that line. And then finally, down here, it will tell you more information about the complete vector that that line is attached to. So the area of that rectangle is this first measurement here. The perimeter of the rectangle is this next measurement. So that would be if you added all the sides together, that will equal the 23 inches. And then finally, it will tell you the number of spans. So it's telling you there are four line spans in this shape. And then if you want to know more information about another shape, you can select a different shape. And you can see any shapes with the straight lines. This is the only information they're going to give you. If you select a line with like this oval here, this one's a Bezier curve. And you can see that up here, the line type is Bezier. And this is going to give you similar information. And then lastly, if we select this circle, this would be considered an arc. So you can see this tells you that it's an arc. And this one will give you the length of the arc. So you can see it's highlighted in red. It's only a quarter segment of the circle. And then it'll give you the start and end positions, as well as the center point, which in this case will also be the center point of the circle. And then finally, it will give you the radius of the arc. And down here, it'll give you the vector properties, which would be the area of the circle, the perimeter of the circle, which would also be the circumference of the circle, and then the number of spans. So it would be four arcs to make up this circle. And one thing I can think of that the area measurement will be good for is if you're going to epoxy fill your shapes that you cut out. So let's say we were going to cut this circle to a depth of three quarters of an inch and we're going to fill it with epoxy. So we may want to know an accurate measurement of the volume of epoxy to place in that circle. That way we do not waste too much material. So in order to find the volume, we would only have to take the area measurement and then multiply it by the depth of our cutout. So let's say we go three quarters on that for the depth. So we'll take the area, which is 34.21, and then we'll multiply it by 0.75, which would be our depth in this case. And then we click equals, and you can see this would be the volume, how much epoxy we would need. So that's it for today's quick tip. If you found that helpful, make sure you like and subscribe for more.